Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Her Apartment, where we'll be playing as a character who lives underneath an elderly lady who is going away for a week and she's going to ask us to look after a kitty cat and water her plants. What could go wrong? By the plinky plonky music, I'm thinking something terrible is about to happen. Let's play and let's find out. for the best prices? I am. Let's go. Yeah. If you order this mower within one minute, Ooh. you will get two more for absolutely free. Wow. <laughs> this offer is only for a limited time. Don't hesitate to call now. You mean I buy one lawnmower for, what was it, $175 and I get two for free? Let me, hang on. I, I forget the, the, the phone for the moment. God damn. So... I could get one lawnmower and get two for free. What am I going to do with those other two? I only need one. I mean, I'm on... Oh, God, right. This is really annoying me. Now. Let's find out. We'll, we'll come to the lawnmower thing in a minute. Where's the phone? God damn it. Hello? Hey, Ray. It's Margaret. Sorry for calling so late, but I'm going out of state for a week. Could you please take care of my cat? Water the flowers and occasionally pick up my mail? I would really appreciate it. Mrs. Olsen sounds like a dude. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm saying about it. Sounds like a really sinister old guy. All right. Oh, hello, Mrs. Olsen. Of course, I'd be happy to help. When I get home from work in the evenings, I can take care of everything you need. And unfortunately, I sound like AI. <laughs> so that's interesting. All right. Great. Thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Won't you come over to my apartment now so I can show you what you'll need to do? Hmm. What time is it, Mrs. Olsen? I'm getting the feeling that this is a bit late. And, uh, you know, I have a kind of cutoff time for social activities when I'm in an apartment and that's eight o'clock. That's my time. That's my time, bitch. I'll be there in a minute. Mrs. Olsen lives in apartment number two. She's the best neighbor a person can ask for. I'm glad she trusts me with her apartment. All right. Um, quite a little... I mean, if I'm like a bachelor, and this is a pretty sweet setup here. Got your, your couch and TVs here. Your kitchen area. Oh, there was something that... Oh. Might be a bit musty in here. Let's open the windows. I do like that. Can we see it? Oh, we can. The fridge is here. Got some pie, some suspicious looking meat, pizza. I can eat the pizza. Burping. What I got over here? Let's see that as well. I am bloated as fuck right now. Can we take the trash out? No, we can't. Okay. Right. She lives in apartment two. Let's just go back. Where's the TV? Where's the TV? Where's, where was the TV? Did I turn it off? I did. Oh. I'm pretty sure it said $175 for a lawnmower. Now, naturally, I think that's a bit too much for a lawnmower. But if you get two for free, you sell the other two on eBay. You're making profit, baby. Um, trailer. $71 per night for rent. Uh, hmm. All right, we're number four, so I'm guessing... Let's just... Can we go upstairs? Ah, the invisible walls have blocked me from going upstairs. All right. Number three. Do not knock ring. Interesting. Oh, am I meant to knock? I'm just letting myself in, am I? Oh, there she is. Hi there, Mrs. Olsen. How are you? Hey, I know this character model. Weren't you at a kebab shop the other day telling me that I was working too slow? Hmm, interesting. All right. Wow, looking good, Ray. You're a charming man. Is she hitting on me? I think she's hitting on me. I am a charming man, Mrs. Olsen. I am indeed. And you know what? Age ain't nothing but a number. You know what I'm talking about. You're alone. I'm alone. We're all alone in this apartment complex. We've only got each other. For companionship. 
Thank you, Mrs. Olson. What should I do first? At the end of the hall is a door to my junk room. In that room, there's a watering can. Please bring it here. I gotta say, if this was the dev doing the voiceover, I, I tip my hat to you. Oh, wow. Wow, Miss Olsen, you've got the most derpiest looking cat I've ever seen. Look at this derpy looking cat. I know she's probably your pride and joy, but that is a derpy looking cat. That's all I'm saying. All right, watering can, here we go. Here in the living room are the first two plants. Pretty sprightly for an old lady, aren't you? I just literally went there and now you're up. Okay. Um, oh, okay. It's a, it's a button mashing one. And there's the other plant. Okay. Simple. Last two plants are in the bedroom. I'll wait for you here. Oh, Mrs. Olsen. Mrs. Olsen. Yeah, you wait in the bedroom. <laughs> you little minx. I, I know. I get it now. You're not really moving away. You're not going away for a week, are you? You're not going away for a week at all. Oh, I thought that was the thing there. If I come in here now and you're in your, uh, your little lingerie, your little slinky, where are you, Mrs. O oh. I gotta be honest. I, I was kind of hoping that you'd be in a like, little, little slip dress or something. You know? You're kind of teasing me, Mrs. Olsen. You're teasing me. Water your plants. Right, right. I get you. I get where you're coming from. Sploosh, Mrs. Olsen. I'm watering the... Where have you gone now? Jesus! All right, I think we're going to go feed the cat now. Are we? Is that a euphemism, Mrs. Olsen? I oh. usually feed Kitty half a can in the morning and evening. Since you're coming only in the evening, just give her a whole can then. The cans are in the kitchen. You do have a lot of cans here, Mrs. Olsen. But um, I think something else is happening here. I... I, I yeah. We've lived above and below each other for many years now. And uh, I've just got to say, you look quite beautiful. No? All right. I'm going to feed your cat then. Meow food zimmerder. Okay. Um, Jesus. Your derpy cat is being derpy to the extreme. All right. No need to get the mail today. I already did it. Here are my apartment and mailbox keys, plus $50. Appreciate your help. Thanks a lot. I'll make sure everything's taken care of. Just in case. I'll write all the tasks down and leave the note here somewhere if you need anything. Feel free to call me anytime. See you next week. Take care and good night. Let's go back to my apartment and go to sleep. All right, well, Kitty's chowing down. All right, then. Oh. Did I just have a gilf moment there? I think I did. Um, so this is the Mel. She said she's already got it. Olsen. Uh, do we know what our name is yet? I don't think we do. All right. Oh, what's this? A lot of trash in the atrium area. Okay. Going to sleep. We're looking after... Can we... No, we can't do the lights. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Sorry, Mrs. Olsen. I just barged in. I'm on number four, aren't I? Sorry. Sorry. I My mind was imploding from the from the images of you being like a seductress, dominatrix-type woman in the bedroom. I, I think we got our wires crossed. It's fine. It's all good. We're all good. I'm going to sleep now. And I'm definitely not going to be doing anything whilst I sleep thinking of you downstairs, Mrs. Olsen. Love you, Mrs. Olsen. I'm finally home from work. First, I'll pick up the mail from Mrs. Olsen and me. Listen, all I'm saying is... If you haven't been with an older lady before, you're missing out. That's what I'm saying. 
What do we got here? Golden Years Travel Agency. Some letter. I'll leave it in her apartment. So that's obviously where she's been going. And we have... Oh. That's pretty wild. How does someone even escape from there? I hope they find him before things get worse. Fear in town. Authority search for escaped psychiatric patient. The escape. In a chilling turn of events, the quiet town of Jewels has been thrown into a state of shock and fear following the escape of a mentally ill man from the Jules Psychiatric Asylum. The man, identified as 60-year-old Mason Harold Whitmore, evaded the institution's security in what authorities are calling an unprecedented breach. We are doing everything in our power to locate and safely apprehend Mr. Whitmore, said Police Chief Margaret Ellis in a pre press conference earlier today. We asked the community to stay calm, but alert. Do not approach him. Instead, contact the authorities immediately if you see anything suspicious. Descriptions of Whitmore have been widely circulated. He is 65 years old, stands approximately 5 foot 10, with a slender build and grey hair. Alright. Fine, let's water her plants and feed the cat. Let's do that. Can we turn on the light? We can. There we go. Oh, water the plants. Feed kitty. Thank you again. No need to thank me, Mrs. Olson. No need to thank me. All right. That's one. That's two. I'm in your boudoir, Mrs. Olson. Um, you know, I'm not going to check through your drawers or anything. I'm not going to sort of see what's what's in your bedside table or even sniffy knickers. But I'm kind like that. Very kind. All right, time to feed Kitty. Do I put this down here? No, apparently not. Okay. Kitty, where are you? Uh, sleeping with your little derpy derpy face. Still on the sofa, huh? Not getting up to see a new person. You've just been, like, inside all day. Not even... Not even... Can you open some windows, maybe? Get that musty old lady smell out of the area. All right, here we go. You coming over? There you go. Done for the day. Now I can go to my apartment and get some sleep. Really? Is that your day done? Hey, what's she got in the fridge? Ooh, look at that—a whole chicken. Nom 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 nom. It's fine. Mrs. Olson gave me the keys to the place. I don't think she said that I could eat her. Oh, we got something in the bathroom. I haven't checked the bathroom yet. Alrighty. It's only going to go to waste, right? The food is only going to go to waste unless I eat it. And I just had a whole goddamn chicken. This is proving to be quite a great setup, actually. She's paying me $50. I'm working, so I'm already getting paid for that. And I get to eat for free. Just for, what, watering some plants and looking after a cat? It's a win-win situation, people. I can buy that lawnmower by the end of this. And get two lawnmowers for free. And then I can sell the lawnmowers on eBay. And make, I could, I, this, is, this is the entrepreneurial spirit here. This is how you make the big bucks. I'm telling you. Another day, another mail collection. Seriously, do not bend, and it's bent. I'll leave the letter at her apartment. Everblau Insurance Company. All right. What? What could that be? Let's go to her apartment and take care of her stuff. Um, yeah. Is that like a credit card or something? Why you would say not bend? I don't know. Hold on. Where's the plant? Is it somewhere else? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Um, hey, kitty cat, are you playing silly beggars? Huh? You derpy face. This is starting to freak me out. I'm going to call Mrs. Olson. Get that musty smell out. Um, what, the plant's not there? I mean, yeah, I guess it would. Make sure no one's in the house. We 
We have an escaped convict. Just checking the area. Just checking, making sure everything's okay. Everything's kosher. In the washing machine. Uh, Alright, let's call Mrs. Olsen though. Um, here we go. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Olsen? I've got a problem. A plant is missing. The one in the living room. Hey, Ray. Really? Everything else is fine. Just one plant disappeared. Yes, well... Hmm? <laughs> it's here. It literally wasn't here a few seconds ago. I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> Maybe you're tired. Sorry if I'm bothering you that much with my work. No, no, that's definitely from my work. I hate it there. Sorry to interrupt, I'm gonna go water them. Bye. Okay, so, hang on, the plant, <laughs> the plant just miraculously appeared. I'm looking at you, Derpy Cat. Is Mrs. Olsen, hmm, is she doing something? Is she doing so is she lulling me in? Is she asking me to come here because she's doing some kind of weird thing? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. She's got like such a alluring mystical mystical voice. Like I don't know if she's asking me to do this knowing full well that there's some kind of demonic spirit in the place. That's just my paranoid brain. Time to feed kitty, very cute cat. All right. Well, okay. Let's uh yeah, let's feed kitty cat. Alright, so the food stuff hasn't been replenished, so maybe I'm just really tired. There you go, kitty cat. Come on. Done. I'm excited to go to my bed. What do we work as that when we get home, like, everything is... Like... I'm, I'm going home and I'm going straight to bed. What is that? Alright, sleep well, kitty cat. I think I forgot to turn off the lights. Didn't close the front door. I shouldn't. Ri oh god! Really? Okay. Uh, god, I turned off all the lights and in the bathroom. Right. So basically, don't turn on the lights. Right? Is that what we're saying? Is there going to be? Okay. Can I go? Good. What kind of pathetic life do I live if I'm just coming home from work, feeding the cats and watering the plants with Mrs. Olsen and going straight to bed? Not even going to watch a film? You know? Not even going to, I don't know, do some extracurricular activities? No, nope, just going straight to bed. Not going to read my book? No, straight to bed. All right. I'm wondering what's waiting for me in the mailbox today. Is that what you're wondering? Is that the highlight of your day, my friend? That you're done with work and like, what's in the mailbox today? Woo! What have we got, Miss? Well, she's got nothing. What have I got? A new bank? Maybe I could use my put my money there. Amazing interest, up to 0.03% per annum for your deposits. Square 38 Bank is now serving a community. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the apartment. It's a bit of a random one, but okay. Right, we won't turn on the lights today. We'll just water the plants. Plant is there. That's all good. That's good to know. But the plants haven't mysteriously moved. Some ethereal spirit hasn't. You're still there with a the derpy derpy face. Hang on. Is that a noise that I heard there? There's some kind of whoosh of air. And on the TV? No? 
Check the cupboard. No. No one under the bed. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. All right. Ah, uh, the mundane tasks of watering plants and um, feeding kitten cats. Oh shit, did I not... Did I miss the other plant? Kitty is sure hungry. Kitty, you must have lost your bowl somewhere. All right, it's light time. Where, where the fuck did you put your bowl, kitty cat, huh? I haven't got time for this shit. I've just been working a hard day at work. Whatever. I hope Miss Olsen won't be angry if I leave the food on the floor. The food on the floor? My man, look. It's a kitchen. There's bound to be other bowls. Have that coke. And some frozen meat. Just gonna eat it raw. That's how we do it. Um, I can't get another bowl from a cupboard or something? I'm just... Wow, okay. There's your food, bitch. I'm tired. Finally, I can go to sleep. I think that was a bit uncalled for. I, I think I could probably just get another bowl from one of the many cupboards here, right? There's, she's got. She's bound to have another bowl somewhere. That's all I'm saying. Right. I hope you enjoy your feast, kitty cat. Did I turn the lights off here? I did. All right. Uh, that light. Done. Great. Great times. I have a feeling that this fuse box will be coming into play at some point. I don't know how. I don't know why. But there's fuse boxes on every level. We'll see. Um, yeah, seriously, once again... You're not even going to watch some TV. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to bed. All right. I don't know what my job is. I must be working. I must be crunching those hours. Maybe I'm a game developer. Maybe that's what it is. Spending all day and all night in the studio. My debit card from Square's bank arrived today. I am very excited. This guy has no life, right? This guy has... This is what I'm gathering from this. He's excited about checking out the mail... He's excited about a goddamn. Well, there's Kitty's bowl. He's excited about a bank card. That's it. Square Eight Bank. I was really looking forward to this moment. My first debit card. Your first debit card? How old are we? <laughs> are we like 14 or something? Like, how? All right. Okay. What the heck? Kitty's bowl? How did this end up here? Let's go to our apartment. This is getting creepy. Oh, man. What the fuck was that disgustingly loud sound? Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. What the hell? You mind your own goddamn business, okay? Ah, screw it. I'm drunk as a skunk anyway. You're the one who's taking care of Margaret's apartment now, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's me. Sorry if I disturbed you. No, 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 we don't apologize. He's already said he's drunk as a skunk. He's limbering up like he's wanting a fight. I'm ready for this. Let's go. What were you doing there so late yesterday? It was three o'clock in the morning. Hmm. What? By that time, I was sleeping in my bed. I wasn't in her apartment. I saw you. I was coming back from the pub. You were waving at me from the window. Do you have a lock-in, Jerry? Like, I want to go, I want to know, I want to find out what pub you're going to if you're coming home at 2.30 in the morning. That's what I want to know. You were waving at me from the window. That wasn't me, my friend. Ah, uh, you were just seeing things. I was really sleeping. Drunk loser making up shit again. All right. Fuck you, Jerry. Look, this apartment is falling to bits. Is he meant to be like the maintenance guy or something? Did we, we didn't really look at, oh, we have the Harold Whitmore. You hungry? Then a lot more. Don't say you're not helping. Say you're making things worse. Uh, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready. So someone's been looking out the window, huh? Maybe I should have been looking. 
We, I do like the fact that you can open the windows. Unfortunately, I should have probably been doing this earlier. All right. Well, someone's clearly in the house. Um, but we're just going to keep on watering the plants. No one's going to jump out at me, are they? Yes. No one's going to jump out at me at all. Yeah, I got a watering can. I'll smack you in the face with it. Yeah, blah. No. Okay. Seeing kitty eating is the cutest part of the day. I can't wait. Man. I really need to get a life if that's the highlight of my day, you know? You're there. The bowl's there. The food's there. I'm eating whatever's left of Mrs. Olsen's. And a lolly. I'm gonna have a lolly at the end because she owes me. And the milk. That's right. Come and get your goddamn food, kitty cat. Let's get some sleep. Wow, a whole week of this. You've just been going in, watering the plants, feeding the cat, and then going to bed. I really need a new life. I am the most pathetic person in the world. But you've got a nice setup here, man. Call up the phone, get some friends round, have a bit of a rave. Your downstairs neighbor is away. You can party hardy, Marty. No, I want to go to sleep. Can I call someone? No, I can't call anyone. All right. To sleep we go. Finally home. Today's my last day taking care of Mrs. Olsen's apartment. Can I actually... No. Invisible walls prevent me from exploring the area. We've got to check the mail. Ah, we have a letter. Happy Paws Pet Club. Some letter. I'll leave it in her apartment. And then for me... Oh. Are you kidding me? My debit card arrived yesterday. Sudden collapse. Square 38 Bank shuts down just two days after opening. Just two days after its much-anticipated grand opening, Square 38 Bank has announced its sudden and unexpected closure, sending shocks through the financial community and leaving customers scrambling to understand what went wrong. The collapse unfolds. Reports of trouble at Square 38 Bank began to surface yesterday afternoon. Customers experienced issues assess accessing their accounts and conducting transactions, leading to mounting anxiety. By early morning, the bank's management confirmed the worst. The bank's dismal start with only four clients in the first two days, had forced them to shut down operations immediately. So I was one of these people? What is going on with this Square 38 bank thing? For the four individuals who did open accounts with Square 38, the sudden closure has resulted in significant uncertainty. This is a devastating blow, said one of the affected account holders, who preferred to remain anonymous. We trusted the bank with our funds, and now we're left wondering... What time to go to... What? What does the whole bank thing, <laughs> this subplot with getting a debit card and then the bank closing, what's that got to do with anything? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay. Right. Um, Kitty cat, you're still there. I can see your, your little frame, your little derpy face. Let's go feed kitty for the last time. Unhappy face emoji. All right, let's just check. Just wanted to make sure. You never know, there might have been like a human head in the fridge or something. So what? Done, I'm good to go. Good night, kitty. Who, all right, who moved your bowl? Someone obviously put your bowl. Am I doing this? Is this gonna be one of those things that I'm just moving objects around. I'm so sad in life that I come downstairs, sleepwalking maybe, you know. I don't know. Right, let's just... Just 
want to make sure. This is the last day. Is there nothing? Can't see anyone. Yeah, all good. Everything's good. Everything's golden. All right. Goddamn Jerry. Mrs. Alton should be home by now. I'm going, yeah, to return her keys. Um, yeah. Can't check the... We can only check our mail now. All right. Jerry? You, you drunk as a skunk, Jerry? No? All right. Hi, uh, Mrs. Olson. It's good to see you again. Nine one one. what's your emergency? I, I did think that was Mrs. Olsen, even when... Was it Harold Whitmore? Turned his head? That that dude looked like, um... <laughs> looked like a guy... Uh, okay. Alrighty, um... Okay. There's a foreign man in my apartment. He attacked my neighbor, and now they're fighting. Wow, racist much, Mrs. Olsen? God damn. It's my apartment. Mine. Get out. Everybody out. Okay. After the incident, police found two lifeless bodies. One was of a 24-year-old man and the other of a 68-year-old woman. The previous owner of the apartment number two, Harold Whitmore, escaped from the scene. Police never found him. Well, there you go, guys. That was her apartment. Um, yeah, that was that was okay. Um, I didn't feel much tension there when you had the paper saying that the old man had escaped and things were going missing. Or <laughs> I I felt like there should have been a lot more lore or a lot more information about the character that we were playing because all he was doing was coming home from work watering the plants, feeding the kitty, and then going to bed. I think we should have got to know our character a little better, because at the moment he just sounded like, a, he just seemed like a really sad guy. I mean, a 24-year-old man can't fight a 60-year-old guy <laughs> in a house? I understand that he's escaped from a psychiatric ward, and he's the previous owner, so he thinks that's his house. I get that, but for him to overpower a 24-year-old, I must have been the most soy-soy boy in the world, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of games like this where you have the kind of repetitive chore-like duties and in between that something scary or something spooky happens. I didn't really get that at all. Was he in the house the whole time? Is that what we're saying? Because the bowl had moved, the plant had moved, or was that just my hallucinations of being overworked slash overtired? I don't know. Um, that didn't really work for me, to be honest with you. Um, weren't, weren't, wasn't really feeling the chills in that one. Um, I liked, I liked the setup of it. I liked being in that little apartment complex and tendering for the, in, can only be described as a randy Mrs. Olsen. Come on. Come on, guys. She was like, oh, one of my plants in my bedroom. Oh, let me slip into something naughty for you. Oh. Here's my teeth. I usually put them in my glass at the end of the night. If, but if you open my drawer, you might find something vibrating in there. <laughs> yeah, I was just getting this kind of feeling that Mrs. Olsen was a raging nymphomaniac. And um, she just needed some loving. And I was there to provide that for her because I was upstairs. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And uh, please sub if you haven't already. Otherwise, Harold Whitmore will be coming to stay at your gaff, and he'll be staying there forever. Until the next one, stay ghoulish. Bye.